Hello, Father James Kubicki here with a trade secret. Now, I'm not going to break the seal of confession, but I can tell you that as a priest, one of the most commonly confessed sins I hear is anger. So what do we do with today's gospel where Jesus is clearly angry, so much so that he makes a whip and drives the people and animals out of the temple? Jesus is God, all holy and without sin. How could he get so angry? Because anger itself isn't a sin. In fact, it's the appropriate response to something that's wrong. We ought to get mad at some of the things that are going on in the world where there is injustice and sin and, as in the case of the gospel, holy things are being abused. Anger itself isn't a sin, but what we do with it can be. Paul's letter to the Ephesians has some good advice for us on how to avoid turning an angry reaction into a sin. He wrote, Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun set on your anger, and do not leave room for the devil. In other words, don't let your anger turn into resentment and bitterness. Do not let negative thinking, which is fertile soil for the devil, take over. I tell people, turn the negative into a positive. Think of your anger as a red flag that God is waving to get your attention. Pray for the people and situations that make you mad. Pray, and in the words of the serenity prayer, accept the things you cannot change and change the things you can.